Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have something brilliant for you this evening regarding Vic Mignogna and everyone who is so unbelievably dumb. So this was actually brought to my attention yesterday, but obviously today it's been debunked, so we're going to go through it first. And what we have is, is from Nate, so big shout out to Nate, he done this. Kick Vic, still not learned your lesson. Auction, kiss, debunked, obviously all of us are tagged in it. And what he's done is that these people here, who are on the other side... So this is, I really think you need to take a step back and reevaluate why you seem to support someone who does this to people. Obviously, you've got two photos there of Vic kissing a girl. And obviously, those photos are taken out of context. You could think, like, why is he doing that? And obviously, oh, shock horror, she looks shocked, you know? But then you've got somebody there then who's gone back to him, some random internet dude. So who was the woman and what's the story behind this picture? If there's so much solid evidence, how come there wasn't any in the TCPA? Which is true. It's not like KV ever used someone's positive experience with Vic and change a narrative. Oh wait, they did. Anyway, this guy then comes back with, This was an auction for a kiss. No one bid but one guy for 20 bucks. No one wanted to take Vic up on it. So this girl was put up there to accept it. She didn't want it. When she walked away, she said it was disgusting. Remember that part right by there, okay? She said it was disgusting. And you've got to go another thing. FYI, the fans that have turned my Twitter feed into a, into a dumpster fire because of this. That's him on the left. Anyway, and obviously, and you had our favourite person, LJ Montello. Based on TL Reeve, this was 2008 Onicon, and there was a kiss auction during the half time. Again, Cons were not always wise, and nobody bid but one guy, and somehow this gal got chosen to redeem it. And so you got all of that there, but ladies and gentlemen, we have the video. Of the actual Onicon 2008 charity auction. It is three minutes and five seconds long, so I'm going to pop that up by here, give it a watch, and then, you know, we'll jump right back in. We have a surprise charity auction going on really quick here. Come on out. <laughs> We 
just raised $820 for charity. Me and you, baby. Now, I want you to look at those people, and I want you to hold very still. Good cause. You guys, thank you so much for making this fun. We love you. Merry Christmas to you. Now, isn't that a nice video? Look how lovely that is. They raised $820, not the $20, as this guy said, but $820. He actually missed out the $800, which is one of the big examples there. But the main part, when he says, she didn't want it. When she walked away, she said it was disgusting. Well, in that video, she's absolutely loving the kiss. And you could see the fangirl in her. She was there going, yes, it's amazing. She was just so excited. So I just love the fact that, again, they're there using photos without any context whatsoever. This just goes to show what type of people these are. They will use anyone's photos and they will put any story to it. Again, it's going back to what I said last week. These people seem to just say a story and they don't know if there's any evidence out there. You know, they, they make up some crazy shit, all of a sudden video evidence comes out and they're made to look like the right and utter fools that they are. You know what, these are the people who think they're going to win, but when they keep lying and <laughs> just throwing out stupid stories like this, it's going to make them look so pathetic. Well, well, it does make them look pathetic now, because this guy here, whoever this guy is, you know, he's like, he probably there thinking, like, oh my God, there's actually video. What's going on? Oh my God, I didn't know that. Well, you wouldn't. The video on YouTube has only got 15 shares. Um, well, 15 views, that's it. And it's like, well, there we go. Look what you've done. This is how dumb you are. And straight away, when he, you know, it's just that one part he says, oh, she didn't want it. When she walked away, she was she said it was disgusting. How do you know she said that? Were you there? Because if you were there, you would have seen how excited she was. Especially when Vic gave her his jacket at the end as well. So, I really don't know where to go with this. I just think it's brilliant. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you lovely people soon.